Hello! <laughs> How's it going today in Alberta? Hello, hello, it is Lance Cardinal here. I am so, so excited to have you here again for another fun family art adventure with me, Lance Cardinal. Um, I am so excited. This is my favorite part of the week. I get to talk with you guys, do some fun crafts and activities, and uh, also, I'm going to be online here on my Facebook page, so every time you have a question about what we're doing today, I want you to put it into our Facebook page, and I'll be able to uh, answer those questions for you. All right. Ooh, going live, so I'm going to be having the video on the whole time. If you have any questions, you let me know. Say hi, I want to see you there live, and we can broadcast together. And as you all know, we're going to be making these really, really cool things today. They're little art, um, magic castle adventure things. So they could be um, for boys or for girls, for anyone, but most of all, for us, for everyone. So. Um, hey there, Jeff St. Germain. How's it going? Nice to see you. I hope you're having a good morning over there in Las Vegas. Uh, so many friends joining me from all over Alberta and the United States and even as far as Australia. So, so cool. So I've got my coffee cup ready to go here. This beautiful Pendleton style coffee cup. So ready to go. I got my energy going. It's going to be a great morning. And just to remind everyone who I am, my name is Lance Cardinal. I come from the Treaty 8 Big Stone Cree Nation, which is up north, about two and a half hours from Edmonton. Right now, I'm broadcasting live from Edmonton, Alberta, Canada. And uh, this is my little apartment. I, of course, am here self-isolating, as I'm sure a lot of you out there are. And that's really cool, too. So uh, I want to know where you guys are from. So if you're on my Facebook page, go uh, say hi. And let me know where you're from. And so we can, uh, we can do a shout out. Hey John, how's it going today? Thanks John, my friend John Lucelli came by yesterday, uh, heard I was having a down day, stopped by to my apartment outside of my building and said a quick hello from the road, socially distant, such a nice way to say hi, there's always a way to spread love and cheer and happiness to everyone all over the world, you just gotta be inventive, just like today, we're gonna be using our imaginations, having a lot of fun and being really positive and doing some art and I hope you're there with your family and your mom or your dad or your brother and you have all your art supplies ready to go, we're gonna get it going. Hey there Ken, how's it going? Nice to see you as well. Okay, so let's begin you guys. First thing we always do when we get here is what? What do we do first? As always we say hello, Tanse, and that is the Cree word for hello. Now I know a lot of you have done this before with me, so you know how this word goes, but I want you to try it at home, and I want to hear you say the word tanse, which means hello, alright? So on the count of three, I want to hear you nice and loud say the word tanse. One, two, three. Wow, that's amazing, good job. You said it so perfectly, tanse, hello. And then I say, wanantel, which means I'm great. <laughs> amazing. All right, you guys, so what we're going to be doing today is um, working on a really fun project, as I said before, which is these little castles here, as you can see. Fun adventure castles, which are also little homes. Now, I want to teach everyone a new Cree word today for the word home, because that's where we all are right now. We're in our homes with our families and the ones that we love, and uh, I'm sure you're happy to be at home. I know I'm very happy to be at home, but the word we're going to learn today is... Mihwam. Now, Mihwam is the Cree word for home. And here you can see on the screen, this is a home. Now, this is a home from the Musquachis Reservation, which is just north of Edmonton. Uh, sorry, just south of Edmonton. And this is a beautiful home. It's decorated with, with um, indigenous designs. And that is a home in Musquachis, Alberta. Now, you can see here as well, the word Mihwam for home also has a syllabics version. And that is a translation of the Cree word into an ancient scroll language. And of course, we have the English word for home. Now, I want all of you out there to also practice and try the word Mihwam very, very, very soon here. Here we go. You count three. I want you to do it as well. Okay, you ready to do it? On the count of three. One, two, three. Let's hear it. Mikwam. That's right. Good job, you guys. Amazing. You are amazing. I love you guys out there trying these things, and I love sharing my culture with you, and you get to learn a few uh, Cree words with me, and I get to see all your beautiful artwork. So that's amazing. So good job, you guys. Mikwam. Home. That's what we're doing here today. All right. Let's get back to our little adventure craft. I'm so excited. Okay, you guys. 
Good morning, Brittany. You are calling all the way from First uh, Quill First Nations, but you're living in Saskatoon. So hello there, Brittany. Nice to see you. Deborah's here today. Hi, Deborah. Alexis is watching us today. Hey, Alexis. Lori Hool. Hey, Lori. How's it going? Nice to see you. Robert Mills. Hey, Robert. Nice to see you as well. Thank you so much for joining us today. All right. So we're ready to start our wonderful, amazing project. Now, as you can see, these little castles are so cute and a lot of fun to make colorful and easy as pie to do as well and the best part about these things is they're interchangeable so i could easily move one roof off of this roof and put it on this roof or put this on this roof and move this one over to this one right here so that's the best part about this project as you can customize it make it whatever you want i can make it one big giant castle with a drawbridge in the front just like that and that's my little castle or i can make a neighborhood and have one person live here one person live here one person live here one person live here and that's a little neighborhood just like that so the best part about this is creating some homes so we can pretend we're visiting our family and friends when we can't right now so of course a lot of us are stuck at home but this project right here we can imagine this is our grandma's house and our cookum's house and our auntie's house and our cousin's house and we can walk and we can go visit the whole time all right so lots of fun so put this aside for now this is our samples we have put them right over here they were so much fun to make and i'm so happy that you're here to help me make them Okay, so the first thing we always do when we start these project is what? Get all our supplies, that's right. So today for our supplies, what we're gonna need is some fabrics or colored paper. Now, oh wait, first of all, toilet paper tubes. Now, these are very easy to find at home. A lot of us have empty rolls like this. Also, the paper towel tubes, which are longer. But you know what? I didn't have any, so I made my own which is very, very easy to do. If you want to make your own toilet paper tubes, just find yourself an old pizza box, just like this. Now, a lot of us are having takeout right now and buying food from the store, so these kind of boxes are great. Just open them up, cut them out just like an Eggo box like this, and make your own little rectangles. Then you roll them up into a circle, put some tape on it, just like that, and you got a tube. Now, you can make these tubes whatever size you want, whatever size you want your house to be, that's what it's gonna be because as I always say, there's no rules to what you're doing. No rules to what you're doing. Make what you want, make it your way. That's right, make it your way because that's the best way. All right, so we have our toilet paper tubes, which are ready to go. Now, we have to cover them up. So what we need for that is some paper or some colored uh, construction paper or some fabrics. Now I have a whole bunch of felt Look at all the colors I have. Magical colors. Every color of the rainbow. And also I have some old scrap papers, uh, fabrics as well, which I got from my mom's sewing kit. So go to your mom or your cook from sewing kit, ask to borrow some fabrics. You can also use construction paper. You can also use wrapping paper. You can use whatever you want for this kind of thing. You can also make your own paper. As you can see here, I took some markers. I made my own special paper so I can use it as well. So that's perfect. Now, we're also going to need a pair of scissors, just like these. Now again, scissors are very sharp, so if you have trouble using scissors, always ask for help. Because as I always say, asking for help is very, very easy to do, and something we should learn more about. And of course, we need some tape, just like this in case you want to use tape, but you can also use a glue gun. Now you should plug this in now if you haven't already, because these always take a little bit of time to get warmed up. So plug in your glue gun if you haven't yet, because we'll need to use that in a little bit. All right, okay, and now what else do we need? Um, I think that's everything. You could use some glue if you want, but that's up to you. Okay, so let's begin. Now, I always like to keep my area nice and clean as I work, as you know, and that's how it keeps it good. Okay, here we go. So first thing we gotta do is get our cardboard tubes. Now we have these right in front of us here. The cardboard tubes are perfect, so we're going to do one of these houses today, and then you're going to all do your best to do your own versions. Maybe I'll do two, just to make it easier for that. So two houses we're going to work on today, together as a group, but after this is done, you can make as many houses as you want. You can do five, or ten, or twenty. Make as many as you want, make yourself an entire city. It's up to you, it's your magical idea, alright? And like I always say, no idea is wrong. You're always right. No idea is wrong. 
All ideas are right if it's right to you. No ideas are wrong. Just play, play, and you will go along. That's right, guys. No ideas are wrong, so we're gonna do it that way. Okay, first thing we do is find some covers for our things. Now, what are we gonna do? I think I'm gonna do a greenhouse with my beautiful green felt just like that. And maybe I will do a pink house as well. Pink and green. So what we do first, take our, our tube, put it down on our paper just like that, get a marker or a pen, I like to use a marker, and we draw a line of how big our tube is, just like that. Then we get a ruler, and we draw a line. And there you go, just like that. You see? Now I get my scissors and I cut it out. Just like that. There we go. Now we have a piece and we test it out and see if it fits. Perfect! Now I have a pink cover for my house. Let's do the other one. So once again we take our fabric, make a line, just like that, and roll it all the way down to there. You can also go a little bit all the way down if you want and roll it and draw lines and roll it and draw lines and roll it. Whatever works best for you because as I say, there's no rules to art. Just have fun, be inventive, do it your way because that's the best way. So just like that, I didn't even have to draw a line. Take my scissors and cut. Perfect. Oh, where's my, oh here it is. Here we go and good job. Woo, perfect. So can everyone see my work over here that I'm in? I'm, um, make sure I can see everything I'm doing. Is that? Let me know if you can see me uh, good or not. Put it in the uh, comment box and I will move my camera. All right, so the next thing we have to do is attach our fabric or our paper to our tube. So what we can do is use tape or glue. I'll use tape for this one. Get a nice long piece of tape. Put it on one piece of your fabric or paper, just like that. And then tape it to one part of your tube. And wrap it all the way around. And then what do we do? Of course, we tape it again. I love to play fun music while I'm working. It keeps my energy up, keeps me feeling positive, and that's a really important thing to do. All right, so there we go. It's all ready to go. That's our number one house uh, bottom there. Perfect. Time for some coffee. Alright, next one we're going to do is attach this. Now for this one I'm going to use a glue gun because it's a much, uh, it's much harder but it is much more secure. So first thing I do is put a little bit of glue in a line all along one part of my fabric. Then I put it on my tube just like that, as you can see, and then roll it around just like that, just to there. And we add some more glue. There we go, glued. Now we have two. Two little tubes. <laughs> so much fun. Now, do you have any questions about that so far? If you do have questions about how to put this on or anything like that, just put it on our Facebook page there uh, on the post and I'm reading them as we go along so I can answer any of your questions you might have on how to put this together. All right, so we put those to the side because we always keep our area nice and clean. And then we have a pink house and we have a greenhouse. Next step we have to do is our roof. Now, what are we gonna do for a roof? 
I have some really great papers that I made here. Now you can use whatever kind of paper you have at home, uh, construction paper, uh, wrapping paper, whatever you have, even scrapbooking paper. What a great way to use some scrapbooking paper. So you just put this into a, a cone just like this. So we find a way to make a cone just like that. Just like a moose calling. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> I'm not a very good moose caller, but that's the best I could do. So we find ourselves the top corner and we start to make a tube just like that and we tape it up in the back. Alright, get some tape just like this. And we put some tape on it just like that. Now you want to make sure that it is enough room to put it on our little house so we, we do a little test. Oh my goodness, it fits perfectly! That looks so good! I got me a house, the roof it fits, the roof it fits, the roof it fits, the roof it fits. Yes, the roof it fits, yes, yes, the roof it fits. Ooh. <laughs> awesome. Alright, second roof. Hmm, what should I do for my second roof? Well, what about some colored fabric? Let's do... Ooh, a dark green roof. That would be really, really cool. So same thing with the fabric or felt that you have. You do the same kind of idea, you make a cone. Now this one, I'm going to do a glue gun because, again, if you're more skilled at a glue gun, then you use a glue gun as well. Now I like making my roofs nice and tall and slender, kind of like a little elf roof. So that's what we're going to do here. So we take our, our fabric or our paper, get some glue, make a little line, just like that. And we make a little cone shaped house, just like that. Perfect! Check it out guys! Yes! Love it so much. So I'm going to put this roof on this one here. Now, we have our rooftops all done. What do you think we should do next? What? Oh, hold on a second. I sure hope that helps seeing better. Can everyone see it better that way? I've moved back a little bit so we have more space here to see everything. I hope you can see. All right. Okay, next up we're gonna do for this is make our little roof, our little uh, roof edging, okay? So we go, for this one I'm gonna do a wavy line, just like this, we, we cut our roof line, just like that. Okay, so now we have two roofs. Sorry about the interruption, everyone. Uh, internet's up and down. Everyone's online, so it's going to be a little bit jerky, but we are going to get back and forth as much as we can. All right, so here we go. We have two roofs, two houses, all done already. Now, like I said before, don't glue these roofs on because we want to be able to keep the roofs, you know, interchangeable so I can move them all around and customize them and change them whenever I want. So now we have two roofs done. Perfect. So tape in the back, seams in the back, just like that. Alright, the next step we're going to do is some windows and doors. Now again, we choose whatever we want to use for windows and doors. Um, I have some really great fabric here, so I'm going to make some windows out of this fabric, as you can see. Yay! It's perfect! You can see my whole table! Yay! <laughs> I love that. Okay, here we go. Now, I'm going to cut out little squares for my roofs. Put my houses here. Right, so I have one little square here, so I thought that would be kind of a cool little uh, window. So I take my roof off my house, 
and I can use glue or tape, but I have some glue I'm gonna use. So take our glue, put some on the back, We find our best place for our window and put it right on just like that. Perfect! Awesome, I love it. Now what about a door? Hmm, I think I'm gonna use blue. I make a blue door. So we get our fabric, our paper, whatever we have at home, and we cut out a little door. Now I can make mine kind of round on the top just like that. I see a door, I see a door, I see a door and you know what it's for. I see a door and you know what it's for. It's for my house to go inside my little tiny door. <laughs> Always gotta sing to make things more fun, right? So what do you think guys? You like my door so far? I love it. So let's glue that on. And take some more glue. And we put it right on our building, I'd say right about there. All right, perfect. A window and a door. Excellent. Now, second house. Hmm, what kind of window should I do on this house? I think I'm gonna do circles. And I think I'm gonna do white circles with my white belt. We take our fabric, just like this, or our paper, and if you want to make two circles at once, you fold it in half and cut at the same time. It just saves a little bit of time and energy. All right, circle, circle, circles, making some circles. Circles, circles, we're making lots of circles, put the circles on our little tiny house. That's right. Okay, we have two circle windows. You know what? I think I'm gonna draw little windows on. No, I'll leave it like this. We'll glue it on and we'll figure it out. All right, so windows. Hmm, I'm gonna do one window here and maybe one window just below that. Two little windows! <laughs> Perfect! Now what about a door? I think I'm gonna make a little short door, but what color? Hmm... I have blue, I have red, I have yellow doors... Ooh! Let me do an orange door! With my orange belt! I'll make this one short and wide. Little wide door for a little wide elf. <laughs> All right, you think of my door, guys? Right on there. Perfect. Okay, let's glue it on. Just glue, glue your door. Don't you care or wonder what it's for? Glue, glue, glue on your door. And that's the way you make your little tiny house. <laughs> I love it so much, it's coming along so nicely. I have two buildings now, with two doors and two windows. So how many windows are on there? Let's see here, can you count how many windows? One, two, that's right. Now how many windows on this house? One, perfect. All right, here we go guys. We have two houses, and we put this roof on this one, let's say, we're gonna switch it up. And this one on that. Oh my goodness, they look so good. Uh, do you love my houses? I bet yours looks just as good. So we're finished this part right now. Anyone have any questions, put it on a message board here and I'll answer them as soon as possible. Let's do some shout outs. Hey Gladys, nice to see you mom. I'm happy you're here. Justin LaCroix. Oh, Justin LaCroix, I love you so much. I'm so happy you're watching. Hey Russell, of course, nice to see you. My cousin Irma, hey Irma, hello there. Dave, nice to see you as well. Kara. Awesome. All right, so we're having a little bit of internet trouble today. It's gonna go on and off, but it'll be okay. All right, so next step we're gonna do with our little houses is create, um, what can we do? 
What about a flag for the top? So you can see some of our houses here have little flags, which is kind of fun. So we're going to learn how to do that now. So first thing we do is get a piece of bamboo skewer, or you can use a straw if you want, or you can use anything you have that's long, like a pencil crayon or a stick or a piece of wire. Be creative, be inventive. As I always say, there's no rules to art. Whatever you do is the right way to do it. So we take our bamboo and we poke it through the top, just like this. Oh, easy as pie, right? Put one right there on that house. And, wonderful. Now on this other one, I'm gonna use a straw and make a red, a red flag. So take it to the bottom, poke it to the top, just like that, and there it is. Now the best thing we have to do next is to make a little flag top. So, to decide what we're gonna do for colors. Hmm, we have a blue flag and a red flag. I'm gonna make a yellow flag. So all we do is take our fabric and we cut out a little shape. Now I'm gonna make my flag look like it's flying in the wind, so I make it wavy like this. And like this. Just like that. <laughs> now for this one, I'm gonna use um, glue gun because it'll hold much better. Glue gun on the end there. And we put it right on our little house. So cute! I love my flag! Wow! Look at that! Looking so good so far! I love it so much! Alright, now we're going to do one on this side too, but I'm going to use tape this time. So this flag, I'm going to use, let's see, I think I will try a red flag. Oh, we already got a red flag. What about a pink flag? Sounds perfect. Alright, let's so cut these out. Just like that. And we cut out, I'm going to do a triangle flag this time. Very easy. Just a nice big triangle, just like that. I mean, I'm gonna use, and I'm also gonna use tape this time. In case you don't have glue, you can always tape everything. So we take our tape, put it on one side, just like that. Go to our straw, wrap it all the way around, and tape to the other side as well. And there you go! Two amazing little houses with flags, just like that. Wow! I love these houses! It looks so good! I hope yours are looking good as well, which I'm sure they are. But if you have any questions about what's going on here, put them on my Facebook page here, on the, on the uh, chat room, and I will be able to answer them as we go along. Alright, the next step for this amazing project is making little stairs for our house. Now, these ones don't have little doors, but I'm going to do little doors on the sides. So what we do is we take some paper, just like this. Now, if you have colored paper, that's great as well. I made my own colored paper with markers and white paper. So we take the paper and we cut it, just like this. Easy as pie. And we fold it like an accordion. Here we go. Let's fold. This way. That way, this way, 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 that way. It's so much fun. I love being here with you guys and having fun with you guys. It's my favorite part of the day. And now we have some stairs. Perfect. Now our little house, we're going to pretend that there's a little door on the side and we're going to tape it right to the side of the house. Alright, so we gotta get some tape or some glue and glue it to the side. I think I'm gonna use some glue. So we get our little glue gun because that's the best way to stick it. We put some glue on the end and we attach it to the side. Let's do our tall house, it'll look much better there. Glue it on just like that. And look! Little stairs! To who knows where's. <laughs> wow, it looks so good, you guys. Oh my goodness. Now we can put all the houses together, just like this. And I can't wait to see your houses, because I'm sure they're just as cool as mine. And I'm almost going to have a little tiny village. Oh my goodness. 
Wow. Look at all my little houses! Can you count them in our half here? We're gonna count them from one, two, three, four, five, six, ten. Okay, let's count together. Are you ready? From this side to this side. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. That's right, seven houses. Now let's count them in Cree. If you know the Cree counting as well, join in. If you don't, you're going to learn today. Here we go. Piak, Niso, Insto, Niwo, Nianen, Ktosik, Tipago. That's right, that's the Cree from one to seven. Let's do it again. Here we go in Cree from the top. From one. And Piak. Niso, Insto, Niwo, Nianen, Katosik, <laughs> Tipagup. That's right, Tipagup is seven. There's seven houses here. And now you've learned how to count to seven in Cree. And I'm so happy you did that because I love sharing my culture and my language with everyone. It's so much fun. So there we go, guys. That's an amazing project we did today together. I'm so happy you were here for that. If you have any questions at all, let me know. And if you want to share your picture of your amazing art, I'm sure it is great. Now, what I want to do, guys, today is talk a little bit about being at home and what that's all about. Now, I know that we're stuck at home and we can't do what we want to do. And we want to go outside and visit our friends. We want to go to our, our cousin's house. We want to go to the park. We want to go to the mall. We want to do anything we want to do, but we can't because right now we are isolated at home for the safety of everyone else around us. So the responsible thing to do is stay home, but I know sometimes it makes you mad. It makes you angry that you want to be doing what you want to be doing. So I'm going to read you a little poem that was written by Mr. Rogers about being angry. And I think that will help us uh, feel a little bit better. So this poem I want to read to you called, is, is called, What to Do with the Mad That You Feel. So here's how it goes. What do you do with the mad that you feel? When you feel so mad you can bite. When the whole wide world seems oh so wrong and nothing you do seems right. What do you do? Do you punch a bag? Do you pound some clay or some dough? Do you round up friends for a game of tag or see how fast you can go? It's great to be able to stop when you've planned a thing that's wrong and be able to do something else instead and think of this song. I can stop when I want to. I can stop when I wish. I can stop, stop, stop at any time. And what a good feeling to feel like this and know that the feeling is really mine. Know that there's something deep inside that helps us become what we can. For a girl can someday become a woman and a boy can someday become a man. Such an amazing poem written by Mr. Fred Rogers. And if you don't know about Mr. Rogers' Neighborhood, I highly recommend you and your family watch that show. It is incredible. But that's just the thing. If we're feeling angry or upset, we should find something fun to do, like a craft. Or you know what? Pound some dough, make some clay, you know, rip some paper and make confetti and make it fall down on top of us and have fun. There's always ways to do that. But that being said, you guys, I'm so happy you came to play with me here today. I cannot wait to see you next week. And once again, thank you for being you. You're perfect just the way you are. And may the Creator watch over you as long as the sun shines, the grass grows, and the river flows. Thanks a lot, you guys. Love you lots. Bye now.